Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this chilly morning out with the dogs walking with the wind behind you it feels quite just like a cool morning walking with the breeze in your face kind of cuts you in half but um, just be ready for it because it just doesn't look quite that bitter hope uh, you slept well and uh and you've got good things today whatever they may be but here we are um not listening to me chatter but here to pray this morning's readings um we've got some 53 which is entitled the denunciation of godlessness it's um it's only six verses it's um it's pokey old stuff and um and then we go to john again we're, we're going to read the entirety of john 10 uh, verses 22 to 40 which is this process of jesus repeatedly being um rejected by the jews despite um all that he's doing and all that he's teaching there we go Let's start. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And then just pause for a moment and just reflect on the things or bring to mind the things that you know of your day. Um, and just be aware too that uh, throughout this day Jesus will walk with you as we rejoice in the gift of this new day so may the light of your presence O God set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever Amen now for that psalm Psalm 53 Fools say in their hearts, there is no God. They are corrupt. They commit abominable acts. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there are any who are wise who seek after God. They have all fallen away. They are all, all alike perverse. There is no one who does good. No, not one. Have they no knowledge, those evildoers, who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon God? There they shall be in great terror, in terror such as has not been seen. For God will scatter the bones of the ungodly. They will be put to shame, for God has rejected them. Oh, the deliverance for Israel, Israel would come from Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice Israel will be glad. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. And has verses from Isaiah. The wilderness and dry land shall rejoice, the desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. And now that reading from John, John 10, verses 22 to 40. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter. Jesus was walking in the temple 
in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will we keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It's not for good work that we're going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said you are gods. If those to whom the word of word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming? Because I said, I am God's son. If I'm not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. And they tried to arrest him again. But he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptised earlier, and he remained there. Many came to him, and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. Now it's time to awake out of sleep. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for seeing us through the night and for this new day, a day filled with opportunities. And if there, if there's nothing in our agenda, then we have a day with you. Lord, we lift you the things that we know and ask that through your spirit, you equip us to do those things to your glory. And in relation to the things we don't know, Lord, we trust that you're there with us whatever those things may be, whether they be things of joy or things of challenge. We pray for our world, Lord, and all of its needs. We're overwhelmed by even thinking about the needs of our world. But for you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You see the world and love it, you created it. Lord, we ask in some extraordinary way, through your spirit, you bring, bring blessing to our world. You bring hope and you show us our part in the bringing of that hope. In that regard, Lord, we pray for our church, our church globally, our church in the UK and its leaders, our churches in the Medway towns and St Margaret's here in Raynham. We pray that you help us to recognise that each one of us is part of that church. St Margaret's doesn't exist in a vacuum. He is that gathering of people joined together in a love for you. Help us to be church, Lord, not to be a gathering, but to be a people missionally minded to reach out and show people love and hope and point them to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 
May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being with me this morning. It's been a privilege as ever to, to lead morning prayer. Uh, we'll be back with you at lunchtime for Word for the Day and then back again at 8pm. Um, I'll be here for night prayer. Um, I hope you do have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. God bless.